Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part two of my round of golf that I played at Queenstown Golf Club in Kelvin Heights, New Zealand. As you can see, it's a really pretty setting out on that second peninsula in the middle of uh, Lake Wakatipu. Like you saw from my first videos, a lot of just uh, nice views, but also a uh, hilly course, a mix of parkland and some hills and also a little foresty too with a lot of trees and uh, with views of the lake on a number of different holes. Anyway, so let's continue. On the first nine holes I was uh, nine over and my tenth hole of the day was the 15th uh, which was a downhill par four uh, kind of similar to 14 curves a little bit to the right um, and I hit a good one there. I uh, left myself about 75 yards from the green Decent chance to make par or better with only a wedge, but as you can kind of hear that, I caught that uh, pretty heavy and had kind of a tricky little chip here. I was on an uphill lie, so I was just trying to bump and run it up there, but with a nine iron, but because of the uphill lie, it got a lot more air than I wanted. And I had this really fast downhill, like 20 footer for par, and as you can see, that was a really fast putt. Pretty fortunate, actually, just to have like five feet left for bogey or so. So I was able to tap that in. Uh, the 16th is an uphill par five, going back now the other way, the opposite direction of the 15th. I kind of hit my typical little fade slice, and it actually ended up uh, right of the fairway. And I had to hit a hook, which by now you know I can't hit and hit like a really weirdy, almost shanky shot out to the right. So now I'm even further right, but uh, at about 150 yards out, I had a little gap. The green is actually over those little small trees, that little rock formation. And I actually hit a pretty good low punch with a seven iron and caught it really good. Actually went through the green here. Now this chip was quite a bit downhill, downhill lie caught a little thin, uh, rolled pretty well past the green. And so now I'm here uh, hitting my fifth. Because of the little ridge or tear you see in the green, I didn't feel like I could put that and actually hit a pretty good chip there. And I um, was pretty fortunate to be able to make a little five, six footer for bogey and get away with uh, hitting some bad shots on that hole. 17th is a cool little downhill par three. It's about 165 yards. Uh, try to hit a seven iron. Thought I hit it pretty good, but um, I think the wind must have hit it a little bit. Came up a little bit short. Uh, but all in all, not too bad. Really pretty hole. You can look down and you can see the lake and everything from there. Just short of the green, I was able to hit a little flop chip on and tap in for par. Pretty good result there. 18th, now again going back the other direction, same as 16, uh, up the hill. It's a par 5 that curves pretty hard to the left. I actually caught this one quite good, but uh, because of a dog leg, when I got out there, I realized that I drove it through the uh, fairway and I was uh, kind of blocked out directly to the green because of that dog leg. So I kind of had to chop out with a pitching wedge. Caught it a little heavy and a little fat, hooked it a little left, but I ended up being in decent shape here. I was about 140 out with a nine iron. Caught it okay, but started to leak a little right. Just past the green a little bit. You can really hear the wind here. Um, right of the green, hit a pretty good chip. I had about eight feet left to try to save par. And uh, I just tapped in for bogey there. Now, as you'll recall from my front nine video, we skipped holes uh, five through nine on the front because uh, Rachel and I were playing alone and um, there were about four or five groups of four in front of us. So after we finished 18th, we got back to the 5th, which was actually our 14th hole of the day. 
uh, as you can see, it's a pretty cool hole. It's a par 4 that uh, is along the shores of the lake and a curse to the left. Um, that tree that the ball started over was like 220 out and with the wind coming hard off the lake from the left, I felt pretty good about hitting my fade even if it started over the lake. I had a look at the green, uh, but I tried to hit another little hook here. Didn't come out great, but not awful either. Third shot, I had about 80 yards just under in. With the wind, I tried to hit like a lower little knockdown, little pitch shot, but uh, kind of ran through the back of the green. Uh, had actually a really tricky uh, pitch shot here. I was actually hit, able to hit a pretty good short-sighted little flop here, and I was able to tap in for bogey. The six now comes back the other direction from five, so the wind is coming really hard off the right. So even though I'm hitting like a fade slice, the wind actually even pushed that towards the left of the fairway, uh, which actually banks pretty steeply from left to right. So you can see how hard the wind is blowing. Stayed on the left side. Had about 125 yards here. Again, trying to keep it kind of low and out of the wind. That's coming off the left. Killed it. But yeah, got knocked down pretty good. Had a, about a 30 yard or so pitch shot. And pretty good. So now with the wind whipping in my face, able to get up and down for a par. Pretty happy about that one there. Seventh hole, and going now back up the hill again. Other direction, long par three, about a 190 yards, but uh, with the wind blowing as hard as it was, I thought I'd hit a six iron. Hit a pretty good one there. Uh, the wind caught it a little bit, rolled through the back of the green, and now this was a really brutal putt. Um, you can see I'm almost putting sideways with my back to the hole. Uh, the screen really slopes a lot from back to front, and that was a really good putt. I would probably my best putt of the day. I uh, had about three, four feet left to save par. So two pars in a row, uh, despite the win. Pretty happy about that. The eighth is a pretty tough par four. Long and dog legs to the left, and with the wind coming off the left. Try to hit like a lower drive to keep it out of the wind. Obviously not a great shot, but it worked out okay. Rolled out quite a bit. Had about 190 yards. Again, wind at my back from the left. A little bit of a side hill lie, but this one I hit pretty good. Uh, caught it pretty flush. Ended up just short and right of the green. Had a downhill little pitch that I hit a pretty good one on. You can see how much this green slopes from right to left or back to front uh, by how that ball rolls out, but pretty good shot there. Uh, reasonable chance to save par, but just over it a little bit with that break. Uh, tapped in for bogey. Okay, the ninth was the last hole of my day. It's a downhill par four, curving a little bit from left to right, which by now you know is my wheelhouse. So hit a really good drive there, especially with the wind at my back. And as you'll see when we got down, my drive actually made it all the way to the end of the fairway. Had only about, okay. Only had about 55 yards or so left into the green, which as you can see, it's kind of like an island green, if you can imagine that. There's like a valley in between, and then it drops off on all sides. And of course, obviously, with a really nice view of the lake in the background. Only about 55 yards left here, and I haven't had a birdie yet today, so thought I had a decent chance. But got pretty steep with that shot and chunky, and was fortunate that I actually ended up just on the front part of the green. Had about 50 feet here. Now definitely just trying to two-putt, not even thinking birdie, hit a decent one, and now with this like five-footer left to save par. Able to roll that in for a nice solid finish to the round. So overall, 14 over, uh, 
Definitely not a bad round, especially in the wind on the back nine. Uh, only five over with that wind. Uh, it was pretty hard to hit the greens, as you can see. Only hit one in regulation, but putted really well. And actually, uh, my short game, getting up and down from a lot of tricky spots, um, helped me shoot a pretty good score, all things considered, especially with the wind on the back nine. So some final thoughts on the course, as I leave you with some bonus footage of Rachel playing the 10th hole. Uh, Queenstown Golf Club, very beautiful course, very fun. Different from Jack's Point, uh, it's a lot hillier. You'll get a lot more uphill, downhill, even side hill kind of lies. Uh, more parkland with a lot more trees, but again, just really beautiful. Uh, amazing views of the lake everywhere. And just a really fun course. Definitely recommend you play if you get a chance. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.